Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Uh, just a short video since I've been working a lot. GTO is still alive, as you can tell because it's running. And uh, yeah, haven't been able to drive it much lately. Uh, let me jump in the car so it's a little quieter. Oh, there we go. All right, so anyway, yeah, I've been busy working. Uh, went away on vacation too, took a five days off, went uh, down to Nashville and Kentucky, so that was fun. Did a lot of hiking and all that stuff. But just give you an update on the cars because I, like I said, I've been busy working and traveling and all that fun stuff, so uh, I have a line log video coming out. Just gotta get the burnout footage. But I haven't been able to really get that, so I'm gonna try and get that tomorrow and then get this out to you by today's Friday, so hopefully Saturday or Sunday. I'll pump out that video on how to install the line lock. As you can tell, I got the button right there. I put the little switch in here, so you do that. Can't really hear it, but it activates the solenoid, so that's coming up. I know I've been gone for a month. I haven't really driven the car much since then because working 14 hours a day and weekends and all that fun stuff, it's been hectic. So uh, check engine lights on but that's no big deal. Just happened to come home from vacation and the neighbor's kid came over, my, my radio's not working, yada, yada, yada. She blew a fuse for a radio, so I was like, yeah, I'll swap it out. She dropped her spare in the engine bay, so that was unretrievable. So I decided to take a spare 15 amp fuse from my car because this one was open, so easy to get to and put it in her car. Turns out it was the ignition. It was one of the ignition freaking fuses, so that's why the check engine light's on. I could clear that up real quick. That's no big deal, so just giving you a quick heads up. I'm not dead. The car's not dead yet. So yeah, just giving a quick update. There's not much left to do on this car. Like I said, just pump out the video for the line lock, do some action footage, and then move on to the next project, which is probably going to be my Jeep. I have a bad alternator in it. I believe it's a bad alternator. And uh, clear up some frame rot and maybe swap some parts out that need swapping out. So kind of want to have that thing ready for winter, even though it's kind of winter now, like not too far from me. It's snowing right now. But uh, yeah, we'll get some Jeep content and then hopefully squirrel away some money and get the big brake kit for this car get some new wheels so that I can fit said brake kit and uh, oh that brings up a good thing to remember uh, the brake situation on this car like I said I've been busy haven't gotten the car to a dealership or anywhere to do an automated bleed I did two of my own and it did not do it I think I had to do it I think it's something you got to do a couple times and I didn't have anything to mount it on top of the master cylinder to keep a constant vacuum and a constant flow of fluid so every time I did a wheel I had to take the cap off put more fluid in I don't know if that had anything to do with it but ultimately I'm gonna get this thing to a dealership and just let them do it because I had the tech 2 scanner and all that stuff which is cool great wow but wasn't enough to do anything but yeah just uh just wanted to give you guys an update all our gauges are working fine it's been no problems, no leaks, no nothing. It just runs, so that's good. I haven't had it on the road in like a month, which is horrible, but I come out every weekend, just one day, just fire it up, let it run, let it warm up. Oh, pre-workout. I almost threw up for my workout today. I was in the gym doing legs, and uh, yeah, I almost blasted puke all over the mirror. Luckily, I stopped that, and that didn't happen. But anyway, just giving you an update. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Boop.